Hello, everyone. My name is Yi Kun Ban. I'm a PhD student of UIC. Today, I will present our work, Local Clustering in Contextual Multi-Armed Bandits, collaborated with Professor Jin Rehe. This presentation has five parts. I will start with the background and the motivation. Personalized recommendation is ubiquitous in our daily life which can be described as the following scenario. To solve this problem, many approaches have been proposed, like the collaborative filtering and the content based filtering. However, they become incompetent in the code start problem and the rapid change of the recommendation content. To solve these challenges, multi app bandit becomes a possible solution which is an effective tool for the online decision making. multi arm bandit can naturally formulate the recommendation scenario where each arm represents an item and the reward quantifies the feedback of the users. The dilemma of the exploitation and the exploration usually exists in the recommendation scenario. For example, we need to exploit the items with the historical data and explore these new items to gain more information. To solve this dilemma, there are many existing algorithms. For example, the epsilon greedy, our confidence bound, Thompson sampling. Here we take UCB as an example. UCB is to choose the arm with the maximum sum of the estimated reward and uh, it's the upper confidence bound. Our work is motivated by the fact that one user decision is affected by other users. So if we can utilize the mutual influence among users, we can improve the quality of recommendation. However, stand MAB algorithms view each user as an individual and do not consider user dependency. Therefore, to further improve the recommendation, our first goal is to identify user clusters in multi arm banding, and the second goal is to exploit the user clusters to improve the quality of recommendation. Next, we will give the formal problem definition. In contextual multi arm banding, each arm is represented by a feature vector forming the arm pool and each user is represented by an unknown vector, which we call user parameter forming the user pool. And the reward is assumed to be a linear function of the user parameter and the um, feature vector. There are some existing words that have started the user clustering in multi arm mandate. However, they consider a user as a set, they consider a cluster as a set of users with the exactly same behavior represented by theta. In fact, users usually have similar behavior rather than same behavior. Therefore, we define a cluster as a set of users with the similar behavior. Formally, for any two users, the difference between their user parameters need to be smaller than threshold where gamma is predefined by the linear. So our first objective is to identify clusters among users, such as the clusters returned by the proposed algorithm are true gamma clusters with the probability at least one minus delta. Our second objective is to leverage user clusters to improve the quality of recommendation. Evaluated by the regret, Regret is the accumulated difference between the optimal reward and the received reward. Next, I will elaborate our proposal method. First, let's briefly review the related works. The most related work uses a top-down hierarchical clustering procedure. However, they have two limitations. First, they do not know when to output the clusters. This figure shows the change of their clustering accuracy. As we can see, we need to choose the proper time to output the clusters. Second, the computational cost is high 
because in each round, they need to compare the serving user with each user. Therefore, we propose an algorithm, block B, which is a novel bandit algorithm embedded with a local clustering procedure. It has two modules. The first one is the clustering module. That is to identify key clusters given cases in each round. The second module is the pool module, which is to select IR based on the clusters provided by the clustering module in each round. First, I will elaborate the clustering module. As the user parameter is unknown, we need to compute the estimation for the theta based on the ridge regression. Then we can build a confidence interval for the estimation theta hash. Here we denote the upper confidence bound by B. To use cluster users, we need to define the neighborhood among users. In this paper, we consider two users as neighbors if they belong to the same gamma cluster. However, we do not know the neighborhood for any two users. Therefore, we introduce another definition. We consider a user as the potential neighbor of a seed user S when their confidence interval overlaps. Thus, in a round, a cluster is formed by a seed user and its potential neighbors. In the exploring process, after we play more and more rounds for users, UCB becomes smaller and smaller because we have more confidence about the estimation. In consequence, the neighborhood among users is changing. For example, a user may be removed from the potential neighbors of a seed. Accordingly, the membership of a cluster is also changing. And basically, the members of a cluster will become less and less as more rounds are played. So we need a combination status to determine when we should output the clusters. In this paper, we output the cluster when the UCP of each user is smaller than the threshold, where gamma is predefined by the linear. To sum up, the workflow of the cluster module can be described as the following. In each round, we compute the estimation of the serving user and the state user. We compare the serving user with each seed user. Then we update the membership for each seed cluster. Last, we output a, a cluster when it satisfies the termination status. Note that we input cases and the clustering module output key clusters that allows for the overlapping. Next, I will elaborate the pooling module. First, we need to build a confidence interval for the estimated reward, which is the dot product of the user parameter and the arm feature vector. We denote the upper confidence bound by CB. Now, we want to use a parameter to represent the behavior of the cluster. Here, we define the cluster parameter as the average of the user parameters. For coordinate, we can calculate uh, its estimation. Also, we can build a count interval for the reward computed by the cluster parameter instead of user parameter. Thus, we obtain a new upper count bound. Inspired by UCB algorithm, the play module selects the one arm based on the cluster behavior instead of the user behavior in order to leverage the user dependency. However, as mentioned before, the clustering module can return overlap the clusters, so a user may belong to multiple clusters. And this situation also usually happen in real-world applications. Therefore, we need to select the best cluster among candidate clusters. In this paper, we choose the cluster using the UCB-based strategy. We choose the cluster with the largest sum of its estimated reward and its upper confidence bound. Formally, the pooling module determines an arm by this equation, which is to choose the 
best app with the best cluster for the serving user. To sum up, the workflow of the lock B is as the following. First, we receive the serving user and then we have to turn the clusters returned by the clustering module. Next, the pull module can select the best arm with the best cluster for the serving user so that we can receive the reward and update the parameters. In the end, the clustering module updates the membership for each cluster. As the other conventional local classing algorithm, the number of seeds affects the performance of lock B. Our intuition is that the more seeds lock B is given and the higher chance it has to find good clusters. Therefore, we encourage the learner to, to choose a larger number of seeds. Simply, we can set each user as a seed. Because the clustering module finds the overlapped clusters and the pooling module choose the best cluster among candidate clusters. The next part is the theoretical analysis. The first theorem we provided is about the correctness. This cluster returned by log B is a true gamma cluster with a probability at least one mass delta. With this guarantee, the linear is confident about the quality of each overlapped cluster. So that the pre module can, can make effective item recommendation or friend recommendation. The second theorem is about the efficiency. The number of runs for log B to return the clusters is unprovided by this term which is proportional to n log n, where n is the number of users. This shows log b is an efficient algorithm. The third theorem is about the effectiveness of the recommendation. The regret of log b is outbounded by this term. It has two parts. The first part is proportional to the square root of t, which is similar to the complexity in linear bandit. The second part is caused by the deviation between the cluster center and the serving user. The final part is the empirical performance. We evaluate log B from various aspects. The first aspect is its clustering accuracy. We use the four data sets, including one synthetic and three real world data sets. We design four baseline with different termination status. Here we use F1 scores to evaluate the clustering accuracy. To sum up, log B also from orbit lines because of two advantages. First, log B user is more effective to recover multiple clusters. Second, log B uses the uh, sets to represent the clusters instead of connected components to find the overlap clusters. The second aspect is the regret comparison. Here we choose for state of art existing work. Overall, log B achieves the best performance because in log B, the clustering module can provide multiple optional clusters for user, and the pooling module can choose the best cluster to make a recommendation. Also, we evaluated the effects of the parameters. To sum up, when the user of C, when the number of seed is small, the improvement is significant. When the number of seed is large, the improvement is not obvious. In this case, 40 seeds already are enough to find a good all cluster. In conclusion, we make the following four contributions. First, we introduce the user clustering problem in MAB, which needs weaker assumptions. Second, we propose a novel band algorithm embedded with the local clustering procedure. It is more scalable and effective, and we are the first to study the overlap clusters in MAB. Third, we provide three theorems about the clustering accuracy and the recommendation. In the end, we evaluate log B from various aspects, including the clustering accuracy and the regret comparison. That's all, thanks very much.